Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News analyst Elder Emmanuel Ifeni. Elder Ifeni. <laughs> Good morning. How was Good your morning, weekend? Ruben. Good morning, Rufa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Tundo. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Certainly. Now, let's start this newspaper review with these day newspapers, Nigeria's newspaper of records. The lead story. Prominent Nigerians more southern presidential candidates for 2023. Lobby APC PDP to field aspirants from south. Consult Obasanjo, IBB, go on others. Say nation's unity, political stability, non-negotiable. Yes, you discussed this earlier. This is not a matter of competence because we have competence in every part of this country. And also, conversely, we, also, we have also seen incompetence at leadership level from every part of this country, whether north or south. Some of us have observed it from afar. Some others have also observed it from the ringside. Ruth Ben, I'm not referring to you. <laughs> now, what these leaders are saying is that there's a need to make sure that South, any of the South, South, Southwest, or Southeast, produces the next president of the country in order to continue to sustain the unity of the country and douse the tension. The the, the current uh, burning political tension. Now, whether the political parties, as we know them now, the major ones, PDP, APC, whether they are wired to produce competent candidates is another matter altogether. But one thing we cannot gloss over is that there is need for the unity of Nigeria to be projected and pursued, perhaps, and rightly so, if the presidency moved from the north after eight years to the south, then there will be some sense of unity in the polity, akin to what happened in 1999 when the PDP and the Alliance for Democracy in coalition with then APP, produced two candidates from the Southwest. Then, to solve a particular problem, but we say there's no problem in Nigeria today. So it's a welcome development in my view. But there are other issues which other newspapers are reporting concerning this issue of zoning. The New Telegraph newspaper, PDP, Governor, Palace, APC leaders, Defense this week. Umai, ICE presidency, ignores Secondo's appeal. PDP, presidential ticket not given on sentiment. While, yes, the Nigeria, Nigeria News Direct newspaper has similar story. Defection, you are unfair to Southeast, Umai tells PDP. Yes, Kola Ologbodion, the PDP spokesperson, I hope he, will, he has a lot to say on this. But quickly, the Umai scenario, regarded as one of the shining stars of the PDP planning to defect, and there has been several appeals to him. But I must also recall that the statement once credited to Uche Sekundus, the PDP chairman, when the discussion about Igbo presidency was hot in the front, pay, in the front uh, burner, he said the PDP is more interested in winning the next presidential election. They are not talking about zoning. Well, no leader of note in the PDP countered it. So whether that is a PDP policy or one of those speeches made in unguarded moments, the impact is that those Igbo leaders, including Dave Umar, who have toiled with the PDP through thick and thin, even at the expense of 
what they call marginalization in the last five years, um, they are not happy about that. But we'll see how it pans out, and we'll hear from the PDP spokesman when he shows up. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, insecurity in the land, gunmen kill 15, abduct many along Kaduna Abuja Road. Women, children among victims, man kidnapped at Abuja Hybro area Mpape, wife of abducted Zaria Poli lecturer speaks, disquiet in Kano as police kill two youths. Now, the insecurity on that Kaduna Abuja highway is becoming legendary. And this has nothing to do with policemen pulling out after answers. It has been so for the past five years that many big wigs would rather go and struggle for the train service between Abuja and Kaduna than enter that road even with escorts. Now, Vanguard newspaper still on the insecurity. Insecurity heightens fear grips Lagos, Edo, Delta, Kaduna, others. As robbers, cultists, hoodlums run riots. 37 killed in Edo in one week, six in Delta in four days, one in Ilorin. Police raised black, raid black spots, arrest 720 suspects, recover arms, drugs, looted items in Lagos. Call for information to recover looted arms, ammunition in Edo. Gunmen break into Kaduna Polytechnic, abduct lecturer, two children. While the Nigerian pilot newspaper reporting also on insecurity, Benin under siege, 37 killed in Vikings, Aye court clashes in one week. Edo police commissioner says, ACP, Assistant Commissioner of Police, two inspectors recuperating from gunshots. Says officers still receiving messages, calls from escaped prison inmates. Residents, from, residents form vigilante groups for self-defense. It is that bad now. Now, the Nation newspaper post answers police to undergo Massive reform, lawmakers working with executive orders to prevent future brutality. 9,694 committee police constables to be, redeplo to be deployed. Yes, some of the highlights include entry level, that's of the reform that is coming the way of the police. Some of the highlights include entry level to be upgraded to OND. Mental stroke psychological test for newly recruited police service commission to get more powers over discipline. Erring policemen to for strict scrutiny. Erring policemen for strict scrutiny. While the Daily Sun newspaper also reporting on the police. Police. Fireworks as Inspector General of Police Adamu's retirement nears. Forces press for extension. No legal basis for tenure extension, lawyers group. Don't urinate on amended police act. Ajulo cautions Buhari. Police keep mom. Now, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Rompus in INEC after handover by Yakubu. Presidency, National Assembly, Assembly APC connection. Pro anti Yakubu forces emerge. While the INEC boss is waiting for his name to be forwarded to the National Assembly for clearance because he has been given a second term in principle, where forces are coalescing there. Now, the Guardian newspaper, Nigeria's the Guardian newspaper, investment market trembles as Buhari signed. Banks and other Financial Institutions Act 2020. Law asked court's jurisdiction. Special Loan Recovery Tribunal duplicates AMCON EFCC. Its anti investment, says financial experts, act is meant to prevent 
endless litigation, retired banker. Now, the Daily Independent newspaper of Nigeria, opening borders may safeguard recession-bound Nigeria. Food inflation can quicken economic downturn. Analyst, yes, Southwest leaders have been clamoring for reopening of the borders instead of just giving waiver to few companies, two cement companies and one gas companies. There are many companies who do legitimate businesses across the border, the border in line with ECOWAS protocol. What happens to such companies? The presidency needs to give Nigerians answer. The Punch newspaper, payment platform crisis. Federal government may drop IPPIS for ASU. Others as opposition grows. Other options open. Our aim is to eliminate ghost workers, says federal government. IPPIS has many irregularities, gives cleaners salary to register, registrar, says the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities. Well, we'll see how that pans out, but we want to remind all parties, the public universities have been closed for over eight months. Undergraduates are at home doing all sorts of things. Now, NANTs are planning to also protest. I hope the federal government will not wait for that to happen, for Nigerian students to enter the streets before a solution is found to this lingering strike by unions within the university system, the public universities at that. Now, the, let's move over to the foreign newspapers. The Guardian of UK, Prime Minister forced to isolate again as crucial week became, begins. Yes, Boris Johnson was forced into self-isolation last night just as he was embarking on a crucial week designed to restore calm to number 10 after the tumultuous few days where high, his close associates had to resign and leave number 10 down in street. Of course, he is expected to also detoxify the relationship within his party. Now he's in self-isolation. It's another way to test whether he has immunity after recovering from the coronavirus some time ago. But he's not infected now. He only associated with somebody who was infected. While if we just go straight to the U.S., where the Washington Post is reporting Trump's strategy on Iran falters. Yes, uranium stockpile, oil export surge. Biden ad, uh, administration will face an assertive Tehran. Yes, UN le leaks of UN documents show that indeed the Iranian government has been stockpiling more uranium since Trump pulled out of the Iran deal. While that country is also going ahead with exporting its oil to Venezuela as well, ships were seen returning to the Persian Gulf after delivering oil to Venezuela. So Trump Thank you sanctioned. very much. Thank you yeah. very much, Emmanuel Efene. You didn't leave enough time for a discussion. I would have loved to hear your thoughts on the lead story in uh, your favorite newspaper, uh, this day newspaper. But thank you all the same.